Hello. What we're going to do is terminate a Cat5e cable with a male Ethernet connector. And then on the opposite end, on a different video, I will show you how to terminate it with a um, female connector used in your wall. Alright, so on to the male. Basically what we need to do is we're going to remove the outer jacket, organize the wires, place them into the male or the male end connector, crimp it, and then obviously be done with it. Alright, so first thing we need to do is take off the jacket. You can do this one of two ways. You can either use a razor blade or scissors and take it off very carefully, mind you, or you can buy a tool. Now this one is a universal tool. It can do all kinds of different things, and you can check that out on my reviews as well. All right, so very carefully taking off just the outer jacket, pull it off, and you can do this long here. It doesn't really matter. Basically, what we're going to wind up doing is you want the tips of these wires to correspond with the tip of the male connector and the blue jacket to be crushed underneath a tab right here near the opposite end of the connect gold connectors that keeps the jacket and everything all secure so you can't pull it off. Alright, the first thing you should do after this is put the boot on. And you can just let that slide down and just hang out back here. Don't forget it. If you do, it's not the end of the world, but you're not going to protect, be protected. All right. So you should have, it, at this point, a wiring diagram. There is Bravo and Alpha and Bravo. Two thing, there's only two things you need to remember about this. Bravo or for, is household. Alpha is commercial. Almost everything that you are going to use as a hobbyist, just like me, is Bravo. All right, so you should get this offline, have it, so you can see how it corresponds. Because mine right now is backwards to where you're going to see orange, striped orange on my left, solid brown is on my right. So I'm going to organize these accordingly. Basically what you're trying to do is get them all organized. Don't twist them any more than you have to. Or untwist them, sorry. And just flatten them out the best you can. Alright. So on mine, mine are a little not even. So what I have here is my scrap box. And I just give these a quick trim. Looks like a haircut, I guess. And I mean, I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it, so it's a little awkward, but all right. So now that you have that all set up, you take your male connector, verify again that you have your boot on, and you make sure that with mine, the website that I got mine from. It said specifically the tab is down. The tab that you just when you pull it out of the we'll say the computer again. So you press that down, you pull it out, that needs to be down. Striped orange on the left for me. You push it in. You can see, I know it, the first time I saw the tutorials and one, nobody explained to me that you can see the wires pretty clearly. So mine got doubled up there. No big deal. They go right into their channels pretty well. And then, there we go. All right, so once it slides in there, you get it in there good. You can flip it around looking down at the tab side and you can see how far the wire's in. They need to be all the way to the end. The reason why is these gold tabs right here, they smush down, smush is a great word, but they clamp down onto the individual wires, piercing them, causing 
the wires to be connected. Now, so if they're not, then you won't have a good signal or a signal at all, and you just wasted a connect, uh, you know, five cent connector and your time. So make sure it's in there and they're connected. Mash it in there pretty good. All right, next thing you're gonna do is crimp it. Now this one specifically is a pallet tool, crimp all. It's, you can change out the dies for many different projects. I spent the money on it, you don't need to. This is like a couple hundred bucks, whereas the little, not one, a couple time use, you know, hobby, it's the difference between a Craftsman tool and a Walmart brand. Chances are, for a hobbyist doing this once in a while, save a couple bucks, the hobby one's gonna work perfectly. So, what you do is you slide it in just like you would any other connector, and you clamp down on it. All right, that's it. That's all she wrote. I mean, give it a good tug, test it out, don't rip it out, and then slide your boot up, and you're done.